Oh, yeah. Well, there's just no sign of nerves here, hitting very freely. Good to see at this stage of the match. On the line for Martin, he leads 2-1, first set. Come on, lads. Don't worry, mate. You shouldn't be too far from the bridge now. Hello, Zero. This is Alpha 3-2. Gotham Point is down. Assessing situation. Over. Sydney Harbour, a millionaire's playground, tourist attraction and trade route. But beneath its surface lies a murky underworld. Now! A new team coming to the new Sky 2. we got to get her in. He has a shotgun. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Water rats. Check this out. A daring, gritty and unpredictable new action series. How did I know you were going to say that? Tonight at 8 on Sky 2. Water rats. Stadium court really filling up tonight. I've heard a lot of Americans talking about Tim as I've been walking around and watching some of the matches. And the general consensus is that, yep, Hemman, good player. No breaks, one, two. Thank you. First set. I've always been intrigued by Henman's racket. It's all black. No sponsors, logos, no nothing. with his ranking on the move as it is that companies are knocking down the door trying to get to him with offers of sponsorship but obviously he likes the frame and he's sticking with it I think he has actually uh, signed up with a British company that, that makes rackets. He uh, likes the racket he's playing with at the moment. I think they're going to try and make one fairly similar to that.
Well, the idea was right. Martin's a big guy, and to have him moving forward to a low ball is difficult. Tim just overplayed that a little bit. Well, a bit unlucky here with the net court. You heard us say before, very tight. Bounces up nicely for Martin. Martin. Good hold from Tim. Levels at two all. I think tonight, though, when he does get his chances, when he's 40 15 up on his serve, going to make sure he takes them. As Wally said, Martin's one of his strengths is his returns. Well, the arm is obviously sore, but there's an indication he was in trouble. Popped his first serve around 110, so he might have a little bit more left than we think. Martin just looking at the sideline where one of Tim's grand strokes, grand strokes dropped. Him with a chance to take the early initiative. Break point. Hammond gets the first break. He leads 3 2, first set. He is discriminated against because he's a victim of crime. He's discriminated against because he drives a powerful car. For an open minded view of car insurance, call Swinton on 0800 600 700 now. 
Pantene is one of the few shampoos in my office to make it into my bathroom. Pantene, for hair that looks so healthy it shines. How do homo sapiens have sex? For all the answers. I object to life's bizarre questions. Exciting times. Care for more? Watch the new series of Picket Fences tonight at 9 on Sky One Primetime. So Tim Henman gets the early break. Still only 21. His birthday is next week, September 6th. So this would be a, a rather nice birthday present. An early thank birthday you, present. Thank you. He wants to beat Todd Martin tonight. Important now to reaffirm that service break. 3 2. Forty to fifty. Impressive game by Henman. Very comfortable. 4 2. He leads. Well, he sets this up with a great return, read the serve well. Terrific return right at the toes of the incoming server. thought Henman would have come out tonight quite aggressively attacking the net but he seems very confident in, in his ability to match Martin from the baseline. forehand it's been in a class of its own tonight so far it's only made six unforced errors in this first set there's two points to go by two oh. 
Tim Henman running away with this first set so far. He leads 5-2. I don't think Tim Henman could have hoped for a better start here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Broken Martin twice in this first set. And is serving with the new balls at 5 2. It's about the only forehand Hemman's missed so far. That is the side that at times can tend to produce more errors. It's not a weakness. <laughs> Coverage. Well, that's great anticipation from Todd Martin there. Looked like he almost lumbered to that first, first volley, but uh, making up a lot of ground to get to that second smash. Bounce on that one, Wally well, looked to kick I, up slightly. I think it really did skid. It's not too often you see Todd Martin miss hit, and it, it's not uncommon to get a few bad bounces out here. Thirty all, him and two points from the first set. So a chance now for Tim Henman to do something that he's never done against Todd Martin, and that's take a set. There it is. Good, good start for Henman. 6-2. There you can see the wind going from right to left the court well I wonder I wonder what's going through Todd Martin's mind right now sometimes when you are carrying an injury it's, it's very hard to be focused on your game plan and on the match ahead of you a lot of extraneous thoughts can enter your head <laughs> It's so maybe the serve that Martin's got to use more jamming Hemman in the body, lacking pace, but if he can create enough awkwardness for Hemman, he might be able to get the short ball.
Freeman, not only is he hitting the ball beautifully, but he's constructing the points well too. Good again from Henman and breaks Martin yet again. Leads one love in the second set. Wally Todd Martin has only heard his held his serve twice so far in this match. Henman is just all over it. Well, it, it would appear that uh, he has slowed his first serve down. Obviously, there is some pain there in an attempt to. Uh, just be consistent and save his arm somewhat, but it is hurting him. We look at Martin's first serve. Just all over it. Well, it, it would appear that uh, he has slowed his first serve down. Obviously, there is some pain there in an attempt to uh, just be consistent and save his arm somewhat, but it is hurting him. We look at Martin's first serve percentage. It's very high, but he's actually only serving the ball around a probably, look, there are no aces for Todd Martin, which is very unusual in a set of tennis. But... Um, yeah, he's probably his biggest serve tonight's been 107, and normally Todd's up around 120, 125. So it is hurting him, but Tim Henman, once the point is in play, is hitting the ball beautifully from the back of the court. He's hitting it with a lot of power, very penetrating, and uh, he's keen to get in behind it too. I was I was just about to make the comment. I, I hope uh, if David Felgate felt that in time, at times in his previous match he'd wavered in concentration. The start of the second set, he's got one set under his belt. He's feeling good. What an important time to concentrate. What does he do? Break serve. Yeah, it's certainly uh, impressive from Henman so far. Remember, this is his first ever match out on stadium court. And it's a night match as well, which probably makes it slightly more difficult. But he's come out and has looked very settled. Todd Martin, for me, is not playing badly. OK, first serve is lacking power, but the rest of his game is the way it should be. And Henman is just better. Serving with the break in the second set, one love. Distinct change of tactic from Todd Martin, taking the second serve early. He's a very thoughtful player, Martin. He'll know that in the first set he probably got hit off the court, so now he's probably trying to keep the, sh the point short. You'll just see that uh, he has a big frame, and when he's on the full run there, he's not coming back. It's wild for Martin. Him and Holt serve.
First ace for Todd Martin. But only at 106 miles per hour. Better for Martin. Good first serve, crisp first volley. That's a great return to play against a big man, just taking all the pace off it, chipping it low, forcing Todd Martin to get down and volley up. And the logical thing to do, flip it over his head. on the board, but Henman has to break 2-1, second set. So Tim Henman, important now just to keep holding his own serve. You'd think that two sets to love up, Henman would be on his way. Todd Martin, these last two games, both on return and serve, has been very keen to get to the net, serve volleying most of the points in the last game. What's Martin got to do, Wally, to get back into this? Well, I, I just think by the way he rushed the net in the last two games, it just seems to me that he's a little concerned uh, dealing with Henman from the back of the court. Looks like he wants to try and rush him a bit, upset his rhythm, the good momentum that he's got going at the moment. Just a little bit too cute from Tim Henman. Well, he really had Todd on the run here. Todd does well to get this back, but hard court, it's a, uh, you'll see there, that ball bounced well above waist height. It's a, it's a difficult surface to drop shot well on. Martin's definitely going for more off that return. He really wants to try and force the issue now. Todd Martin always seems to be a very cool customer to me. He just looks at the last few games, he's, he's just looked a bit panicked, if anything.
I have a feeling that return of Martins may have skipped off the service line, shot through. The lines are always a different paint and can be quite quick. Oh. Almost third double fault, first in this set. 15-40, Todd Martin has break point. Martin breaks Henman serve. Two Levels it at two all. Well, that might have been that little concentration lap that David Felgate alluded to. Henman's ad there, he missed a short forehand and then served a double fault. And at this level, you can pay dearly for those sort of mistakes. The thing that was so impressive about Tim in his early rounds that even though he did have these very minuscule lapses of concentration, he always got it straight back. Needs to again right now. Although you probably have to say that maybe Martin's game has gone up by 10-15% from what he was playing at. Well, he's a pretty seasoned old pro now, Todd Martin. He was in a lot of trouble. Switched his attack now, serving and volleying virtually on every point. Martin's game has gone up a gear. Hemman's just slightly fallen off, but it's enough. Martin leads 3 2, second set. Well, Todd Martin finding a bit of inspiration from somewhere the last couple of games. That was his first love game on his serve. And now Tim Hemman really needs to reassert himself on this set. He's been playing flawless tennis up until now. 
Just seems to be a little bit conscious. Uh, in his play at the moment, he was hitting the ball so freely in the first set. Maybe he's just become aware of the scoreline. Just like he did in the penultimate game, Todd Martin comes back from 15.40 to break point. Good thinking from Henman. Knows Martin's elbow is bad, hooks up a lob, but it just wasn't good enough. Break point. Well, here's a pretty cool head on a break point. Sometimes not always easy to have the best touch in tight situations. Just took all the pace off that perfectly. Back to Juice. Well played Hemman. Survived a break point in that game. Levels at three all. They were tight moments, weren't they, Wally? Didn't need to do it exactly the same in the ultimate game. Well, uh, that might be a lack of experience or just uh, lack of concentration, but had he lost that game there, he's up 40-30 in the last game and lost that, and to lose that one from 40-15 up would have been terrible.
Serving for Todd Martin. 4 3, second set. First set, Henman. Car insurance? Now you can earn your no claim bonus faster. How? With Admiral's bonus accelerator. Call Admiral on 0800 600 800 now to find out more. That's 0800 600 800. Out now on PC CD Realm. Starting on Monday, the 23rd of September, there's a brand new look and lineup on Sky One Daytime. As well as your favorite talk shows, join us from 1 to 3 for two roller coaster hours of live entertainment featuring everything from shopping to showbiz. Do you know what's really weird? It's that moving around. <laughs> Keep going. One to three is a unique club every weekday from uh, one to three. And we want you to join. See you there on Sky One. So in this second set, turning out to be pretty close. Vital for both men, really. Martin doesn't want to lose this one and go two sets to love. Time. Down. But equally, Henman doesn't really want to level at a set all. Tim's just made a few unforced errors in the last couple of games, for the last three or four games, and I feel he's made those errors because he's been playing within himself. Mm -hmm. I'd rather see him make positive errors going for it as he was in the first set. Play his natural free-flowing game. I'm surprised how um, little noise this New York crowd is making for a fellow countryman, Todd Martin. They, they've been fairly quiet. Todd probably hasn't got all the respect he's deserved from the American public, always lived a little bit in the shadow of those prodigies, the Couriers, Changs, Agassiz, Sampras's. Well, a real ripping forehand there from Martin. He's the one at the moment that's dictating play. He's probably going for his shots a little bit more. and levels for all. Impressed though by Todd Martin tonight. 
not easy coming out, playing when you're slightly injured. He's kept his, kept his head together. He's certainly not complaining or intimidating. <laughs> Sorry, rather intimidating that his elbow is the reason why he just sat down. It's long from Hemman. Hamilton goes to the chair, 5-4 up in the second set. Well, this is where it starts to get interesting for Tim Hemman. And he deserve now to stay in this second set. I just think at times, though, Wally, that maybe Tim just gets slightly bored. This game comes so naturally to him. Thank He's you. a natural golfer as well. Four, five. Well, it's, it's, it's remarkable, really. He's he's quite a different player this set than he was in the first. There, uh, I can't really pinpoint why, though. I just feel he's made he's made a couple of bad errors just in normal rallying situations without really going for it. And I think you've got to go out and beat a guy like Todd Martin. He's not going to beat himself. I'd like to see Tim just really wind it up and take a rip at things. Just pulling off that forehand, Hemman. You mentioned that was a side that he can make a few more mistakes on. Technically, that just that particular shot didn't look quite as sound. Well, 
Well, he's paid the price a few times when he's missed his first serve. Martin climbing all over that. Henman's first serve in this set. His percentage is down below 50%. Advantage. Advantage. 15 40 yet again. Todd Martin gets back, and this time it's a set point. Forehand needed it. But that's what I want to see more of. Let's try to put the pressure on Martin. Don't let him dictate. First serve would be nice. Martin now really starting to climb all over Hemman's second serve. Second set point. Good. Well, that was pretty well done there. The miss hit was caused by the change up. Hemman hitting a big three quarter heavy serve, only about 99 miles an hour. Fault fault called on the second serve. That's rough. Well, that really hurts. Is he known for his foot faulting or not really? No. Good attitude. He hasn't let it worry him. Straight on with the game. Well watched by Hemman. Crowd just starting to be a factor now, getting a little more animated, sensing that Martin is in there. Yeah, it's a uh, After being up two love in the second set, he hasn't played well. He's still at five all. Hasn't played well by his standards. Let's see if he can just focus, loosen up, and really start going for it. 
Well, one of the problems with facing the Martin serve, he's six foot six. It's almost like a Joel Garner delivery in cricket. Really a rising ball. It pitches in hard and comes up at you steeply. Your Aussie batsman always had problems with him, didn't they? Not David Boone. What do you love? Long. Yeah. Martin holds 6 5 Martin in the second set. So, for the second time in this set, Tim Henman will serve to stay in it. 5 6. Well, you'll notice that ball really wasn't too far away from Henman, but so many returns are directed to the backhand side that it's just natural for a server to start to lean that way. Easy to get caught by surprise when someone rips it in the other direction. Fifth double halt, double fault from Henman. Still got this point though to go into the tie break. He takes it. Yeah. Well, they played two tiebreakers. Hammond and Martin against each other. Those two coming to the finals of Wimbledon this year. Martin won both. Todd Martin is very, very solid in this tiebreak situation. I don't have any statistics in front of me, but overall I'd say he'd be way ahead. One. 
Well, okay, you made the error going for it, but that's, that's what I'd like to see right here. Let's go out and try to win this match. Well, he went for it. I think he probably heard you, Wally. Just slightly overplayed it. And Martin gets the early mini break in this tie break. Two one. It's in on the line. Well, Todd sort of had a half look there, but I don't think his heart was really in it. I think it was more wishful thinking than anything. Hemman takes the mini break straight back. Three, two, one. Well, he may not be serving it full power tonight Tom Martin but one thing he has done is he's used his serve well he's placed it well Help. important now for Henman as they change ends to take this point Time can be a bit disconcerting when you have to change ends and serve at the other end. This set still finely balanced, six all, three all. It's a chance. Well, it wasn't a bad serve here from Martin. You can see Henman right outside the doubles alley. Obviously anticipated it. Whipped the racket head through. These two points would give him the second set. There's one of them. Gee, if anything, he's getting as, as rousing a reception as, as uh, Todd Martin here tonight. There it is. Henman, two sets to love. Well, it's the first time he's taken a tie-break set off Todd Martin, and that was so important for Tim Henman.
Really stepped up to the plate, those final three points. Ripping a cold forehand winner, not an easy thing to do in a tight situation. And finishing it off with two big first serves that Martin just couldn't control. So has that broken Martin's spirit, I wonder. Well, it's going to be awfully tough for him now, isn't it? And two sets to love down. There's Hemman's reaction. Always pretty calm, Hemman. You normally just sort of produces the fist, none of the Boris Beckers. Well, set two, the, the uh, statistics there. Martin, once again, very good first serve percentage. Henman obviously could do better there. He is really trying to crank that first serve up, but 48% probably a little bit too low. No aces either, surprisingly. A few too many unforced errors. Played a magnificent first set. Be interesting to see if he can get back to that level here, here in this third set. So then, Tim Henman. Two sets to love up. Thank you. You would think Third set. he'd be on his way to the fourth round in a match against Stefan Edberg. But as we saw against another seed, Yevgeny, Yevgeny Kafelnikov at Wimbledon. There's still, any, still nothing to choose. I had lunch with Pancho Segura the other day, a very a great past player and a, very much a student of the game. And he was just saying to me... He and he was just saying to me, he feels that a lot of the modern pros get in winning positions and then change their game, start to play within themselves. He's not sure whether it's because of all the money that's at stake. He felt that in his, in his day it was different. When you got ahead, you really applied the pressure and went for it. He just feels there's a different attitude pervading the circuit these days. Let's see if Tim can reverse that by pulling out all the stops. Oh. On the line, it was a good start for Hammond in the third. He needs one love. So then, Todd Martin Thank you. needs to get his teeth stuck into this match. Two sets, love down, love one down. Love Certainly from what we've seen of him in the past, he's not going to collapse and fold against Henman. Henman's going to have to win it. There's a chance now for Hemman to really pile on the pressure.
boy. Well, he's a shot maker, Tim Henman. He looks so much better when he is going for his shots. When he starts to play within himself, he actually makes more unforced errors when he's going for it. That's a lovely feel from him and half volley on the baseline. Andre Agassi does that a lot. Forty love. Exactly the sort of game Hemman wanted after just broken the Martin serve. And he leads three love, third set. I wonder what's going through his mind at the moment. He seems to be a bit short of ideas in this third set. Maybe his back is broken. Certainly the crowd here tonight think it's all over. They're all just piling out. I just noticed in that last game, Tim Henman has his left thigh strap. Love three, third set. The line. It's so good now for Henman if he can get a second break. It really would be all over. He never dwells too long on a missed shot, does he? No, he always just gets on with it. That's what I like about him. First, first serve. Todd Martin led Mel Washington 5-1 in the fifth set of Wimbledon this year, only to lose it. I wonder in the context of a career what that does to a player, whether he'll ever, ever truly gets over it. Holds for the first time in this set. And still leads 3-1. And they're difficult to tell, isn't it, when you have that sort of lead and, and you lose the match, especially in that sort of situation at Wimbledon. I know, and I'm sure you do, that you, you always remember certain parts of your, your career. 
I'm sure Martin will remember that one. And I'm sure Henman will remember this if he wins tonight. Beauty. Well, I think it might have been just long. Good sneak here by Todd Martin. First day to this set, four in total. Perfect timing. Henman edging nearer to the fourth round. He leads 4 1, Henman third set. Leads. Well, 4 1 now did well to consolidate his break there, but really at this stage of a match, he's, he's done a lot of the hard work. He's sort of broken the spirit of Martin to a certain degree. Very important now to just to think in points, not to think of who his next round opponent is, not to start thinking about winning the match and having won the match, just one point at a time. Very professional approach required now. Martin, though, I don't think to me can complain too much tonight. I, I really just think he's been outplayed. Okay, yes, maybe he hasn't got his normal 115, 120 mile per, per hour serve. But even if with that, I still think Henman will be running him close. Yeah, there's no question that Henman has matched him from the back of the court. No doubt about that tonight. Tucker. Nice looking score line for Tim Henman. As you can see, the stands emptying rapidly here on the stadium. This man has got a lot to do. Can't afford to lose his serve again. And somehow, Thank you. can't find a way to break Tim. He's only done it once so far in the match. One four. 15. Equally important note for Henman not to give Martin his service games. He still needs to make him work just as hard as he's been doing. Oh. 
Yeah, you know, I agree, Chris. He's got to he's got to make Todd Martin think on his serve, play tough. Martin gets through an easy game on his serve. He's got a lot of mental energy to attack Henman's serve. It's not like he has to breathe a sigh of relief. Martin holds pretty comfortably. And now all Henman has to do, really, is just hold on to his serve twice. He's into the fourth round in a match against Stefan Edberg. 4-2, third set, two sets to love. Love Chris, do you think he can routinely just serve out these next two games? I think he can, yes. I have faith in the man. Martin's not down and out yet, that's for sure. Well, I thought Hedman had played a perfect drop volley here. Brilliant flick there. I have a feeling Tim eased up a little bit, maybe thought Todd wasn't going to get there and play such a good shot. Serving from Henman. Four first serves in in this game. to think it was the lights or something that was a, a wild smash oh dear Martin breaks back him and needs 4-3 third set for powerful pain relief there's an advanced dual action formula that helps you get to pain before pain gets to you. Neurofen. Plus. Codeine. Equals. Dual action. Relief. You know why I always have Tic Tac with me? Simple. Because one tiny Tic Tac refreshes my breath for two hours, and Tic Tac is only two calories. So I can have two hours of Tic Tac freshness in just two calories. Great, huh? Tic Tac. Two hours of freshness in just two calories. Oh. 
Ford Indian Club. Well, David Felgate earlier was talking about the fact that he was unhappy with some lapses in Tim's game, and we just have seen evidence of it a couple of times tonight. Martin so far in his last three service games has only dropped two points. Herman needs to start making him play a few more balls, I think. 40 15. Good coverage. Now then, we're back to where we were again in the second set. Might be advised just to take his time a little bit here, just slow it up a fraction, think his way through it. Sometimes when you lose a lot of points quickly, you don't realise it, but you speed up your own play between the points. Hemman very quick now between serves. Just needs to slow down a bit, become a bit more deliberate. <laughs> the top players do that so well when they are in trouble, they take all the time that is allotted to them make their opponents wait, try to change the momentum. Both players there trying to sneak to the net. Hemman stops the run of games from Todd Martin and leads 5-4, third set. Four-five. Got it. Well, Todd paid the price here, didn't do enough with it. Really had the high ball, that shouldn't have come back. It's been pretty tough for Henman these last few games. He's, he's not missing many first serves. Very close to the line, very accurate. This set is up around 80%. Very good percentage.
<laughs> Stop that, Tim Henman. Chris, you know him better than I do. Did he mean this? This is a great shot. I'm not sure if he meant it to be that good. Did he know where that was going? That was brilliant. Two points from the match, Hemman. long 30 40. Martin's first double fault would you believe it what a time to serve it Tim Hinman has match point for a place in the fourth round it's done it Tim Hinman has come out and probably played one of the matches of his life tonight on stadium court. Beating the number 12 seed, Todd Martin, never beaten him before. In straight sets, 6-2, 7-6, 6-4. That was some performance from Henman. Well, he looks, geez, that was very, very good. What a, what a cool way to pick off match point. That was brilliant stuff by Tim Henman. He came out blazing. He really played some terrific tennis in that first set. Probably lost his way a bit at times in the second and third. And I, it's, it's amazing when you watch him, you see room for improvement, but that was workmanlike. Three straight sets against Todd Martin. Made it look pretty easy in the end. <laughs> 